All right, so started right. 2020, fifty thousand dollars in debt, like owing renters. Can I prep or something? Go ahead. DC at one point, and I don't know if we talked about this. Almost quit the podcast. Like DC uh, was showing up late, and I know we always make jokes to show up late. Like, oh, a black person shows up late. Oh, black people time. DC Williams time. But it's like <laughs> at one point it was getting to it was getting to a thing where it was like, hey man, I don't know if you're invested in this. And I'm not talking about recently. I'm talking about like before he started working with Kev. And then come to find out this morning, d- yo, bro, he's telling me he goes, Kev, fifty thousand dollars in debt because he was doing Airbnbs. Well, you t- you want to tell the story? I mean, you guys, I was, I had, I like four or five apartments um, here, and uh, and what were you doing with them? I was Airbnb in them. Okay. They're they're getting rented out so I can make a little bit of passive income while I was well, By the way, a business tables. He Poor always... DC Williams owns three million dollars in, in real estate. <laughs> in but please, if you could only support him, it'll for a for a mere thirteen hundred dollars a day. I will, I will say most a lot of my viewers are probably Jewish and they're like, Oh my god, the pain. <laughs> they get it exactly. And property then, loss. Uh, to twenty. What kind of backwards world is this? He owns the property and they're not paying him? <laughs> own the property. I, I just leased it and, le- and leased it to people. You, know oh, you, were, mean? you were you were on the lease. lease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just get a lease on the apartment. Oh. So DC Williams was breaking the laws. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. rental <laughs> arbitrage. You know what I mean? I was okay, getting. So it's really in. not illegal, but go ahead. Uh, yeah, and um, okay, but that's what you were doing. February, February. yeah, February hit. <laughs> but wait, wait, before you before we go into like how terrible life was. Tell us how great life was in 2019. Life was life was get, life was really good. Life was getting so good. This guy booked his first commercial. Wait, what? Yeah. What, what, yeah, you you talk about him. Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, yeah. I was. I did. I was I, getting no, on I Netflix. Want, I want to talk about you yeah, yeah, yeah. specifically. Leave no. Dylan out of this no, for I a know. second. <laughs> No, 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 no. Keep complimenting. Yeah. Listen, bro. You don't. So it was. This is a couple, bro. Yeah, like, okay. no, no, I don't think people realize, like, <laughs> no, me, he me, was killing it. No, no, no. But like, I'm starting, starting to. Yeah. No, but it's funny because financially, yes, like DC was killing it. No, I'm not even financially. I was okay. I was just okay financially, but. Career wise, the the steps were getting taken. Like That's things were going. I think, up. Yeah, exactly. I think DC exactly. saying like, oh, if, like because uh, we had like um like same managers. Like we yeah. had, like, we had one manager that was the same mm-hmm. for uh, um booking like acting stuff. So I think when I got that uh, commercial in his head, he's like, oh, I'm booking things. Mm-hmm. Dylan just booked something. Mm-hmm. If he can book more things on TV, maybe me and him can and then right. actually be in the same room, same set, you, same movie. We're both psychos. Right. You, you, you saw, you saw motion. Exactly. exactly. Things were starting I, to move in the right direction. That's what I was saying. It was just, and I was like, I'm going to book on? something. Booked on The Punisher as that was The Punisher, uh, CBS The Bowl. Now on Disney Plus. You I booked have... a Spotify commercial for a voiceover. This which, is all in 2019. Is great. It's all ha- yeah. that, that, that shit just started sliding you, in 2019. Plus you had a regular job. Yeah, and he was on the background job. of SNL. I took pictures. <laughs> I've been in a hell of time with that. I don't even. I don't. That's not a credit. I don't credit that. That's that's me trying to pay my. Hey bills. man, you were smiling <laughs> real good in that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's me the trying to pay my I was about bills. To say, I was gonna say, wait, DC, can you just look around and give us your absent-minded SNL smile? That you always <laughs> I was do? Doing, I was just, give, the, just give us your SNL background smile. Honestly, anytime Pete Davidson wanted to shoot a music video, they would they like, would send me an email like, hey, you want to stand oh, around so and be one of the. That should help me get laid that night. I was like, oh, that's my boy. He's on SNL right now. Let's go! <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yo, but can you imagine? Better get headed and having to pull your team. Like, he follows me. I swear. <laughs> Look, that's him. <laughs> yeah, all the but shit was just it was nice and most of us getting better auditions. I feel. And you're making passive income doing. Airbnb. Yeah, I was making passive income in doing New Airbnb. City. We were fucking working at Arlo and shit like that. But his you know, like was, was English. Life was good. I met my girl yeah. at his fucking show. I my my Brandon. Zonas. Yeah, I girl. I, Brandon I, I, seen his girl and he brought her to fucking Zona. Yeah, back no, I remember night. you guys were like traveling around the world and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, was mad. She was loved. taking you. Places and, and shit. London. You was living the life. <laughs> what the hell went wrong? <laughs> I came back from Italy, February. <laughs> Wait, you came back, came back from Italy. You came back from Italy. Came back from Italy that was February. you who did that shit to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Came back from Italy. This Yo, just had to tell my life, Italy, bro. Son. Came back that February. Was, at least you said pangolin? COVID. Huh? I said at least you said COVID. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't don't come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so wait, so. So when Coca Cola happened, Co- yeah, 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 when Coca Cola uh, imported <laughs> their products Coca-Cola. from uh, Japan and <laughs> oh, okay, okay. and Canada, <laughs> but yeah, that's what. Bro, the pandemic hit. Woke up one day. Everyone's making fun of it for weeks, right? She just flew out here to surprise me for Valentine's Day, then she flew back. Yeah, bro, we we get up. 
we see mass panic. Everybody's fleeing the country, bro. We go, we, me and Brandon went to one of the apartments where we had someone staying there. This person's packing their shit up. I got to leave. I'm leaving tomorrow. We're just are you are you in, are you in the, the United States or you're in yeah UK? we're in New York oh, yeah. I'm like what the fuck is happening another guy my brother had like a long term tenant somewhere they're like yo we gotta we're we're fucking leaving we're we're out of here bro cancel so many canceled bookings and the back rent between the apartments was like close to like forty five thousand by the way bro. By and the you way. didn't turn it into a brothel wait, what's wait, wrong wait, wait. <laughs> you know what's so funny wait, 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 you know wait. so one of my friends was like yo bro if you want like I got he was literally trying to say that, like I know some more. Yeah, 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 bro. I, was just I mean, like, come bro, on. What are you wait, talking about? When the also, economy goes down, what kind of a wait, wait, great wait. life DC would have been living right now if he just took the opportunity to hand it have to a whorehouse? Him. Have a whorehouse. Getting back what to nice DC's uh, worst moment of his life. <laughs> bro, my life was going to I got past the comic strip after all that. Uh, Shit was going. You turned good. into an asshole. It was going good. I didn't turn into an asshole. I, was I made Trevor know what I'm it. So, I was so happy. I did not have to just keep like. Wait, also, to do also, open I want, also, I wanted to say really this: uh, when you got all those cancelings for Airbnb, mm -hmm. hard stop because of all the jobs that you had and all the times that you've been late and no called no show. Do you mm -hmm. thought that? Do you think that was like God's way of giving it back to you? No, I thought. I thought <laughs> wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I, no, no. I know it's funny. Real question. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought when Richard Teakin died, when Richie died from the Not comic the strip. Well, no, no, no. When he died, that's when I was like. Oh, God was fucking with me. He was like, oh, oh, you was thought like, you were going to make, you thought you were uh, about to be at the comic the one, strip. By the way, wow, club. God yeah. killed a man just to fuck you bro, over. Bro, that's how I felt. I was like, bro, literally a couple months in, I'm like, oh, then it's a group chat. Richie Tiggins passed. Da, da, da. I was like, wow, bro. That would happen to me. That's why I thought so. I was like, way, that would I happen to me. DC goes, yeah, they must not have my name there anywhere. I would ne I'm never going to show up again. It's never gonna show up again. One dude died, and you never went back to the comic wow. Oh, they scrapped the late night. Oh, no, that's man. not true. That's not true. He told me last night what happened. He re auditioned. Yeah, yeah, they, right? made, they made, yeah, but they that was a year after. Did you know that? Who? DC re auditioned. Yeah, they made everybody re auditioned. Right? And then he never, like, they never, hit, what happened with they Tom? Ne they oh, never hit up, they, they never hit anybody back. back. And then the, the one or two people, I think they called back. Why well, you gotta blow and they, 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 they re auditioned him, and they said, no thanks. You think they, you think nobody got past DC? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, they don't do comedy there at all anymore. Bro. I heard they just have a bar there and they serve Bro, drinks. Nobody, <laughs> nobody who is worth <laughs> talking about got past it. Hey, hey. hey. Didn't pass anybody. Everybody that performed that night did very well. Got standing ovations. The crowd was. Today's it. episode is brought it to you by bitterness. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't enough for Tom. Bitterness. bitterness. <laughs> When life hands you lemons, get bitter. In, in my opinion, no, when life hands you lemons, you make limelight, baby. That's what I do. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> man, this shit's getting oh, extra man. bitter. <laughs> man. Hey. And well, yeah, that's what happened. So, yeah, if you guys are going to be auditioning, I would advise you to bring some people or else he's not passing you. Oh, oh no, 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 no. shit. He <laughs> said, y'all do a bringer if you want to pass. <laughs> did did we ever tell like, DC what, what happened? Or did you? He gave me some half-assed story about how, how oh, you did, guys. Did you, did you give bro, they passed all three of us, bro. We're working there full time. They told me. I'm sorry. Three-way high five. One, two, three. You guys you guys going on after rap report? <laughs> Damn! Yo, who the fuck is this DC guy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Going up the rapper. Used bro. to be packed. <laughs>